Man, I'm really happy with how this bridge came out. It looks really good. It fits the space really well. One thing I didn't talk about last time is, uh, look at this. I cleaned up my shulker mock mess. I moved them all inside this building that I've kind of been using as sort of like a, a base slash house slash storage thing. And I cleaned them all up. So now it's just chests. And this is, you know, you might not believe it, especially for me, but this is somewhat organized. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said I might finish all this area um, off camera here, and I didn't. But if I did, it might look something like this. With the shoreline done, this area under the bridge all completed and turned to stone, as well as this hillside completed, the waterfall textured, some boulders added here and there. Uh, I think it is looking super nice, but there's also a bunch of detail added on the other side that we can't see from here. So let's go check out the other side of the bridge. There we are. I, I might actually like this view a little bit better. So we've done this entire sort of hillside here, uh, added a whole bunch of stone, a bunch of life, some more uh, sort of bushes kind of creeping up the hill there with grass and moss and did the entire shoreline. Whoops, we're in the water. We didn't fly. We'll try that again. There we go. And it is looking super, super fancy. I am loving how this is coming out. Um, yep, but this isn't what we're working on today. We are gonna be working on our lighthouse. And that's gonna be going right over there and it's gonna look super, super nice. Once Barnes finishes up his building right here and has the roof on, you'll be able to see the lighthouse poking up above that. I think that's gonna be super, super nice looking. But to do that, um, we need to collect some materials and I've been waiting for this copper to age forever and it is taking it is it's time really Look at that. I've got uh, just a little over a stack of copper uh, To weathered which is probably what we're gonna be using and um, While I was waiting for all this copper to age I was reminded that we've got trial chambers now And so I think this might be the perfect time to uh, go check one out for the first time. So um, The first thing that we need to do is get ourselves a cartographer village <laughs> and try to get a map because I can't I can't stand here and wait for this copper to age anymore I don't actually have a ton of emeralds to go uh, get a tar a cartographer Jesus, a tarcographer <laughs> to get a cartographer leveled up so I thought I'd come to the shopping district and see if somebody sells uh, emeralds I'm sure I feel like we, I mean we've got a pretty big shopping district here I'm sure that somebody sells emeralds maybe there's some sort of a store around here that we're gonna look around for a minute and see what we can find i spent i think the probably the last like 10 15 minutes <laughs> looking around the shopping district for diamonds and uh emeralds and you know wouldn't you know it they're in the giant <laughs> the giant totem well hey i guess that makes some sense doesn't it <laughs> three diamonds per stack that's a hell of a deal let's do it um i don't know maybe three stacks i feel like if I need more than that, there's probably an issue here. Okay, so this is April's um, villager trading hall, and she used to play on the server, but she doesn't anymore. And she's got, she's got a sign out front that says uh, not to trade with any villagers that don't already have trades. Um, but I think since she's not, she's not here anymore, maybe she won't mind. Uh, so <laughs> I found three villagers upstairs that don't have any trades. So I, I think I'm going to use them and I'm going to go get some cartographer tables and see if we can't get a map to a trial chamber, because right now I just don't know where there are any nice. We've got three cartographers. Though, so let's see if we can't get a trial chamber map out of one of these guys. What happened to my other two cartographers? <laughs> did they just, did they just die? <laughs> What's happening here? Trial Explorer map. There it is right there. I have to go get a compass though. Uh, don't, don't die on me, sir. Where did all of the villagers just go? Oh, you know what? Are they sleeping? They're probably sleeping. Yeah, they're sleeping. <laughs> uh, that startled me. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Oh man, that's foolish. Okay, so I guess we'll buy, I don't know, several of them? 36 seems like a lot. <laughs> you know what, let's do it. I only hear once. 12, he gave me 12. Maybe we can get some more from one of these ones. Ooh, is each one from the same cartographer the, uh, the same map? Because that'll be unfortunate. 
Do you know who I think it is? <laughs> oh, and they're the same in general. Okay, well, let's take a look. Is the last one the same one? Yep, sure enough. All three of these are the same map. You know what? That's okay. That's that's all right. Let's uh, let's grab some let's grab some golden carrots while we're over here. Right, we've got our map. I think it's time to uh, fly over there and get some copper. Okay, I do believe that we are here, and it's not going to surprise me much if this is already raided. It is just outside of our building area. Um, maybe it's been reset already, but do you know what? It's okay if it has been raided, because we're not really here for uh, the mobs or the drops or anything like that. We just need copper. Um, so let's uh, let's dig straight down <laughs> and see uh, see what we can get here. It's not here. <laughs> Uh, maybe if we dig this way a little bit, we'll find it. Um, I think it's, it's supposed to be here, so, uh, it can't be too far. <laughs> ah, there we go. I was just a hair too low and just off the mark, so that is fine. We've got ourselves a trial chamber. This is going to be my first time checking one of these out, so I don't really know what to expect. I know that there's a bunch of spawners in here and whatnot, but, uh, I have no idea. Ooh, that's what I'm looking for right there. Uh, I think I'll set up a little base camp right here. Um, I didn't bring a bed, foolishly, uh, so hopefully we don't die. I don't have the ominous effect, so it's probably not going to be too hard. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out anyway, won't we? I got myself a ton of copper going through there, and that is going to be way more than enough to finish up this lighthouse build that we've got planned. Uh, I also got a whole bunch of other goodies here, uh, including one of the new music discs, which I can't wait to listen to. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and gather up the rest of the supplies I need, and then I think we're going to start building. All right, I've got everything I need over here, and um, I've decided on this spot right here, which is a little... Well, I, I think it's probably perfect, except that I've got to clear out some of this rock right here um, and go down one level, I think, to have quite enough room to build this. It's not its not giant. It's only like 11 by 20 or something, but I want to detail around it as well and uh, make it look as though it's sort of like part of the terrain. Uh, I don't want it to be just kind of an awkward build plopped on the landscape. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is clear out some of this stone and gravel and i'm going to replace this gravel for the most part with stone so it uh it has a more uniform look for now and then um and then i think we'll be able to go ahead and get started That's looking uh, a little bit better. We took out all the gravel here, so it's mostly just like a stone cliff on the uh, edge of the water. Um, and then it kind of, I guess, slopes down a little bit here, but we're going to clean up a lot of this terrain anyway and finish up getting rid of that gravel. Not right now, though. Right now we're going to build a lighthouse. So the first thing I want to do is kind of block out the, um, the base, right? I want to see how big this actually is, where it's going to sit on this, on this area I've dug out. And I think it's going to overhang a bit here. And I don't mind that at all. I think that will give us a real opportunity to kind of make it part of the terrain and build the terrain up to the lighthouse, which would be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's build the lighthouse. <laughs>
cyan. <laughs> for some cyan concrete. And I knew this. And I didn't come get it. Shame. Shame. Shame on me. Mm. It's not looking like I've got any here. No. Doesn't appear so. I've got some lapis, which I guess I could make it with. Right, over in the mansion. Oh my goodness, look at that cyan dye. We are... <laughs> We are in luck today, and I'm taking this too. Honeycomb, I'll need that. I don't have anything else over here that's, uh, got some mending books, I guess. That's always nice. Not what I would need in any way right now. basic shape of our lighthouse and i think that is looking really really nice over there there's a ton more detail we're gonna add though so don't worry we're not done yet i've got to bring the terrain sort of up through the base of the lighthouse here to make it look like it's all part of the terrain there's a house i'm going to build on the edge of the lighthouse right here sort of the lighthouse keepers uh quarters if you will as well as all kinds of detail on the top and around the side so we are not quite done yet but i think that that's looking pretty good. I did accidentally take one level of uh, age off of that copper, that single copper block right there. I think that should only take about six years to weather a little bit more. <laughs> and then hopefully I remember to get up there and, and uh, wax it. Otherwise it'll be the only blue block up there, which would be kind of funny. Just realized that all these copper grates are waxed. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, remove the wax from all of these, which, you know, isn't obnoxious at all, but, you know, we're gonna make it happen. Hopefully we can do this in an organized way. So let's do, uh, let's do this. We'll start with this one right here. And, oh, it's got a, is that a different texture? with it unwaxed? Maybe. I'm gonna put this on top of it just so that I know where I started. And then we're just gonna work our way around here. I need a railing for up here. Um, I used... Dark oak fences in my test build here, but I don't think I like that. I think I want to go with something else. I might actually use um, jungle trapdoors for a railing. It'll give us a nice wide walkway and still have some uh, safety from falling off. So let me grab some jungle uh, trapdoors and I'll be right back up here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And once the grates oxidize, which you may take mm, around about a decade, um, this first one will be all blue and then jungle wood on top. So I think that will look okay. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I think for now it looks pretty good. You know, the other thing that I could do is just use the warped wood trapdoors. Um, so it's like two levels of blue right there, which I don't, I don't hate the idea of. Let me try that. Yeah, I think that's, uh, Jesus. I think that's probably better. Mm hmm. Let me know in the comments, warp wood or jungle wood trapdoors. Ah, see, I knew that would happen. It fully oxidized. <laughs> That's all right. That can stay the only blue block up there. I think I waxed everything else. We'll see. Time will tell. 
All right, now we've got the basic shape of the bottom done and it looks a little bit better. It's all stone right now. It's not textured at all, so it kind of blends in a lot, but um, you get kind of the idea how the lighthouse was sort of constructed in the landscape instead of uh, just on top of uh, on a flat surface. So I kind of like that. I'm going to add a whole bunch of texture and some some greenery and whatnot from like, uh, you know, the waves splashing against the rocks. Um, maybe I'll try to do some like seaweed or something. I, I, I don't know, but we'll figure something out and it's going to look super, super fancy. I think for now, I'm going to start on the house structure that'll go right here. I seem to have some zombies around me. <laughs> I have no idea where they are in the cave or something, I don't know. Uh, we are coming along really, really nicely here. Uh, one thing I'd like to try um, before I start adding butches, butches, bushes and vegetation around the, sort of around the cliff here, um, one of my viewers uh, had recommended that I use darker stone next to the water uh, and sort of blend it in. And I like that idea because this stone is always gonna be wet. So it's, it's always gonna be a little bit darker in color. So I'm gonna give that a try and see what we can come out with. I don't know if I'll love it, um, but we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I've done a little bit. I, I think I could get behind this. I'm going to go ahead and finish up around the front here and see how we feel and then add some bushes and some vegetation. And uh, yeah, I think we're well on the way to a pretty fantastic lighthouse here. Right, I think I am at a place where I can stop right now. We've got this hillside all kind of textured and uh, bushes and foliage and bushes Bushes and greenery. Mm -hmm. Bushes and greenery added up to the cliff there. I do still have to texture from about here to about here on this hillside, but that's all right. That That's not really important. Let's go ahead and cross our bridge and get a little bit of a closer look. All right, I did the shoreline right around the edge of the lighthouse. I've got some little like tide pools in here that I think look pretty good here. Uh, I used deep slate and mud really as just the border of the water and I kind of blended that to tough and stone and then mixed in some andesite near the top of the uh, the rocks here. And I think it is looking pretty good. There's definitely some detailing that I want to finish up. Um, I actually, I haven't done the other side or the front and that was my last rocket. So like this side, the back side, I haven't actually, <laughs> haven't actually textured yet. And, uh, of course, um, there's no interior. So we've got three ways to really kind of see this lighthouse. Now one is coming up from the fisherman's hut, um, like we just did there. The other is this street up here right through there, which I really, really like. I think I want to make sure that when I finish building this one, or when I build this one, the roof isn't so high that it blocks out the lighthouse, because I think I really like this view here. And then the last one is from this top street, where we've got Barnes Building right here on the side, and our lighthouse standing up in the back. Um, I do think that this is probably going to be Barnes's chimney, so I'm not sure how tall that's going to go, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't block the view too much because that is right in the path there. But for now, I think that looks really, really super fancy. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this build, hit that like button and consider subscribing for future content. I'll see you next time.